Hello, mamas. Welcome back to the Pregnancy with Physio Laura podcast. It is just me in your ears today. Just Laura jumping on the mic to talk about a topic hot on my heart, birth and shame. Enjoy. Hey, mama, I'm sending you wonderful pregnancy vibes. It's time for you to guide you through. Let's take some time for you. It's pregnancy with Physio Laura. Hello, mamas. Welcome back to the Pregnancy with Physio Laura podcast. It has been a while since I did a solo episode, just me, but... This topic is hot in my heart at the moment and whilst I had another series ready to come out, I've put this one in front because I want to strike while the iron's hot. So I've been having some conversations in my inbox last night. I woke up this morning, had the fireplace on, had my hot mug of cacao and I just started writing all of this out. It's kind of like a journal entry, which is what these solo episodes are, but this one is I think relevant to a lot of women. So I wanted to share it and it's about birth and it's about shame and it's about more than that. It's about life and shame and judgment and all of these things, uh, which is very much a lived experience for me from both ends, from judging others and probably subtly shaming others, whether I did it just inside my head or the way I spoke to women, uh, but also being on the receiving end of that and now feeling like I've come full circle and I'm in this really peaceful place um, where I think I do a really good job of not shaming or judging others um, but I'm not perfect but I want to share my thoughts on this topic because I know a lot of women are suffering from the effects of shame in birth at the moment. Again I'm getting all these messages in my inbox that I want to share with you because I want women to feel less alone. I want women to really own their birth experience because the shame is heavy. It's a really heavy emotion to be carrying around and I would love for us all to drop it. So uh, I'm going to dive in. I'm going to share with you pretty much my journal entry from this morning and I hope you enjoy. So what I want to do is I want to make a pact with every listener listening right now to stop shaming each other, right? And you may listen to that and think, oh, well, I don't shame people, so that's fine. But bear with me because I would like to think I don't shame people either. But when I really dived into it, I I probably was doing it in ways that I didn't quite understand. So birth in general, it's quite a spicy topic for some. So I notice myself always thinking twice before I talk about birth on my social media, on my podcast, wherever it is, because I want to make sure my words are cleverly articulated just in case I accidentally offend someone because birth carries so much shame, so much trauma and so much emotions for so many women And I think it's time right now as a society that we make active steps towards stopping this. So I want to know, are you with me? Let's make a pact. Let's stop shaming and judging each other's choices. So there is so much judgment around how women birth. What way is the right way? What's the noble way? What's the best way? But what if we just stop for a second and let every single woman have their own way without judgment? Or maybe even one step further, maybe they could have their own way with support and celebration, not just the absence of of judgment. So I have so many women slide into my inbox and share their birth stories with me, for which I feel extremely privileged that they feel comfortable doing that. But recently, the main message that I'm hearing come through from these women is that they feel some level of embarrassment or shame or fear to share their stories with even their closest family and friends for fear of judgment or being misunderstood. So women not feeling supported or understood in their birth choices, feeling like they need to protect themselves from other people's fears and projections and judgments. And guess what? It's not for one particular way of birthing. It's for all types of births. This emotion and these stories and these messages coming through are not just saved for a certain way of birthing. These sorts of fears and judgments are for any birth that is different to how another person would do it, which is everything. We all do things differently. We all live differently. I've said this before, but there is no one right way to live. There is no one right way to birth. It's not black and white. So I've got messages from women who have chosen to have elective C-sections for whatever reason who are feeling misunderstood and unsupported from their family and friends. They're being told they're taking the easy way out, that they're not really giving birth. They haven't experienced true labor. 
which makes them feel like less of a mother. Like, do they even know the risks? Are they aware of the detrimental side effects to the health of their baby? And what about the recovery afterwards? I have women in my inbox choosing to have a free birth because that is how they feel most safe and confident, often after having previously suffered birth trauma too. Now, these women are being told they are dangerous, irresponsible, uneducated, that they're trying to kill themselves or their babies, that they're not aware of the risks. Why are they being so negligent? It's a terrible choice to make. I have other women in my inbox choosing to have epidurals and feeling embarrassed for opting into having pain relief, feeling like they might be judged for not being strong enough to give birth without drugs. Now, these are just some of the many examples that I so often receive in my inbox. And you may notice when you hear me share these stories that some judgment comes up for you too. So maybe I said something and you went, oh yeah, but I agree with that, (laughs) which is fine. That's cool and probably totally normal because I think as humans, we are designed to find the differences between us because that's what helps us identify our tribe, right? So we are always looking for what makes me different from the person next to me. However, I wonder if we could be more objective. So maybe could we zoom out of an individual's decisions and recognize that we will never, never truly understand every intricate detail of their life and their experiences that led them to make that decision. Language, like the human language, English language, whatever language you speak is so clumsy. And no matter how many conversations you have with another person, you will never understand still why they chose to do what they did that way and not the way that feels most comfortable to you. So could we zoom out and recognize that every woman is trying to make the best decisions she knows how with the information she has available to her for herself and her baby, and that all decisions are coming from a place of love and safety, even if your version of love and safety would have you choosing the exact opposite experience on paper. Now, I am certainly not perfect when it comes to being judgmental because before having all of my own birth experiences, I most certainly carried judgment around birth because I hadn't experienced it myself, nor am I saying just because you've experienced it means you don't carry judgment. I think you need to make an active choice when it comes to judgment. You need to have a level of self-awareness. So at times before I had my own experiences, I did have small stories around having a c-section being the easy way out but that was until I had two of my own c-sections and came to recognize that it's by no stretch of the imagination an easy choice (laughs) it's one filled with a lot of tears pain confusion the recovery albeit a smooth one for me was definitely not something I would choose as an easy option especially when you're looking after other children but it was a choice I made twice which at the time felt like the best choice I could make for me and my baby. Now my decision to home birth and ultimately free birth was one I most certainly would have judged before I had that experience myself. I most certainly would have thought that this was an irresponsible and reckless path to take but that was until I actually walked this path for myself. That was before I recognized that I felt scared and unsupported in the hospital system, that I actually felt most safe and confident in my home environment. And that judgment was before I realized that choosing this way to birth actually came from a great place of education and research. So I'm not perfect, but I really am getting better at letting go of my preconceived ideas about how the world should work and dropping the judgment around others who walk a different path to me. And my personal and business motto at the moment has seemed to organically become, you do you. (laughs) And I'm really feeling into my passion to help women step into their most confident and authentic version of themselves that they can be. So I want women to birth the way they want to birth. I want women to parent the way they want to parent, to work the way they want to work and ultimately to live the way they want to live. Free of judgment, free of guilt, free of shame, free of fear. I think so much of my own ability to drop my own judgments has been because of my most recent birth experience. So I think because each step of the way, I chose the right decision for me and my baby, regardless of all the outside noise and opinions, and there was many of them, Uh, being able to have the best, most aligned experience for me has really allowed me the space to hold that space for others. So because I'm not trying to project anything onto anyone, because my experience was so fulfilling. So I hope that makes sense. So 
I think often we judge others. It's because we're really judging ourselves. So if we are full and whole and confident in ourselves and our choices, we don't feel the need to judge others or criticize how they live their life because we're so content and happy living ours that we don't need to project onto them. Or we don't need to make them feel lesser than for making a different decision to ours. They don't have to be wrong for ours to be right. They, their birth choices don't have to be wrong for our birth choices to be right. Because you realize there is no right and wrong. There's only the right way for you. So regardless of your own experiences in life and specifically in birth, I wonder if you too could virtually shake my hand right now and make a pact to stop shaming and judging other women's choices. So you don't have to like how they do it or celebrate it, but let's at least stop the shame and judgment around it. Because I dare say this would allow so many more women to feel comfortable in advocating for themselves, having better birth and postpartum experiences, being able to share their stories freely because they don't fear being judged or shamed for sharing their experience and hopefully reducing the alarming number of women currently suffering from birth trauma. So that is my diary entry for today. Um, I hope it resonated with you or maybe something landed on you or maybe it's some food for thought to go home and have a think about maybe where are you judging others and I find often for me anyway a really good place for me to start is like where do I feel triggered Uh, because often the mirror needs to turn around on me and where I'm judging others is because I'm actually judging myself so it's really deep inner work but it's really powerful and I think if we could all just celebrate each other or at least not tear each other down for making different choices I think everyone would be much calmer much more peaceful and the world would be a better place but they're just my thoughts and you may disagree and that's cool too skip on over you don't have to listen to this podcast but I hope you enjoyed it Um, I really like doing these solo episodes I get some really wonderful feedback when I do them so if you did like this episode please as always jump on over to my socials at physio laura Let me know what you took from this episode or if you feel inclined to share your story with me or maybe your experience of shame or judgment around birth. I would love to hear it. And if you want to connect with me more, by now you should know where I live, but I live over inside my online membership program, The Pregnancy Posse. Currently, that is the best way to work with me. I do have a lot of amazing offers I'm about to be releasing, but right now inside the Pregnancy Posse is where you can connect with me. We do weekly workouts tailored to your exact week of pregnancy. I have done a weekly vlog so you can see exactly what I'm up to in each week of my pregnancy and you can kind of follow along together. Uh, We have an amazing resources library with pelvic floor exercises, yoga, meditation, managing pelvic pain and injuries and low back pain and rib pain and all of the pains. (laughs) We have an incredible section on preparing for labor and birth and a wonderful community. So if that sounds like something that would tickle your fancy, you can jump on over to thepregnancyposse.com and trial it for seven days. And when you sign up and you fill in your little questionnaire, I like to send everyone a personalized video message so you can see my face in your inbox having a good old yarn to you. It's a really nice way to connect with everyone. So I love it. So food for thought for today. I wonder where you are judging others. And I wonder if that's because you're really judging yourself. And I wonder if we could maybe let go of the judgment and the shame around birth and just let women do it the way they want to do it appreciate that we're all walking our different paths in life and that we're all on these unique journeys and just because someone does it differently doesn't make your way wrong okay they can all be right because they're right for you so have a wonderful day mamas and i will be in your ears soon bye for now